Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about Seagate hard drive, PCB board repair, and disk data recovery. Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to repair a hard drive by replacing the circuit board. What is the circuit board from a transfer? For this model hard drive, why do we have to do the circuit board from a transfer before replacing the circuit board? Steps of replacing the circuit board Find the correct donor board Find the model number of the hard drive This picture shows where to find the board number after find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. Now you find the board for your hard drive, please read the description and follow the instructions. Take off the bed board. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture shows how the firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is a bad circuit board. On the right hand side is a good Donor circuit board. Circuit board from a transfer is to transfer the firmware from the bad board to a good donor board. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. Second, we talk about how to do disk data recovery by yourself. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bad hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. 
if this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. Overheat is a common hard drive problem. Cooling down a hard drive is always a good idea. We prefer to take the problem hard drive out from the enclosure or from the computer, and also let the PCB board facing the fan, because it is the PCB board who generates the heat to the hard drive. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.